Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Now many students ask me a question that in unit 13, unit 13 is huge, it's biological techniques. So which techniques to prepare because they don't get a proper book with unit 13 in it. I always say that you can get our Shomu's Biology blueprint book where the unit 13 biological technique is written in a innovative approach. We always write a technique like uh, what is the technique, why is the technique, when is the technique is used. Uh, how is the technique is done and the advantages and disadvantages of the technique. If you know the six points of every single technique that then you know the techniques and then you can answer any question from the techniques. That's the approach that we follow in our book. So if you want to get our blueprint of life science book you need to buy the complete set that is 3900. Five books are there. Three books with all the 13 units of CSI and its syllabus. Then one book with the biology math problems. One book with the PYQ explanations. Okay. Let's dig into the unit 13 methods in biology. And if you're wondering what are the exact topics that you need to prepare from methods in biology because there are so many methods. So for you, I make this thing easy because I've studied last 10 years CSI and its question papers. And by studying last 10 years CSI and question paper, I found out some list of topics which are repeatedly being asked in the CSI net examination. So let's dig in. Uh, so unit overview and scoring. Remember, it's a very uh, high scoring unit. Uh, high scoring unit is critical unit question types. So I'll go into the unit overview and scoring. Here you know this unit 13 is very important unit is high scoring unit, but it's a critical unit. You need to apply your knowledge to answer most of the questions because they don't ask a flat question from a technique. When they ask question from a technique, the question will always be related to uh, the application of the technique. The question types that they ask here is a uh, part B, direct principle based principle testing question, the factual recall questions. Part C question will be complex integrated with experimental problems. Remember that. And most of the part C questions are something that they ask from unit 13. So we will be focusing on the part C questions. Importance index breakdown, uh, the highest importance means guaranteed multiple question you can expect, 4 out of 5 means very frequent, 3 out of 5 is regular appearance of the questions, okay. We don't talk about 2 and 1. And difficulty level breakdown, we'll go to easy, means factual recall, memory based question, moderate, means if you know the principal understanding and application, you can answer that and hard means data analysis is required, experimental design and experimental thought processing is required to answer the questions, okay. So these are the two way that we are going to discuss about the different topics that we are going to mention in here. So there, there are three tires of the questions. Uh, first is high priority, must do topics that in unit 13, if you don't have much time left in your hand, right, in that, in that case, you should not leave these topics. These topics should be prepared. Then frequently asked questions of high priority. Then other important topics of medium priority. So must do topics and here we have molecular biology techniques. Under the molecular biology techniques, difficulty level moderate to hard. Uh, and the PCR and variations of PCR is something that is important in here. Principles of PCR, primer design, real time PCR with the graphs, RT PCR all these things. Blotting techniques are also important, southern blotting, western blotting, northern blotting and also the, the and in the western blotting protein detection, northern blotting gene expression, southern blotting uh, and also application here for RFLP. And also you need to understand different uh, kinds of uh, uh, markers, molecular markers like RFLP, RFPD, AFLP, SNP all these things. So next is chromatography, another very, 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 very important topic, difficulty is moderate. Most questions are predicting uh, the illusion order of the uh, mixture that is provided. The types of chromatography that you need to understand is ion exchange, PI and PH and the role of PI and PH in ion exchange, size exclusion that is also known as gel, ex gel filtration chromatography and affinity chromatography, histidine tag based or NINTA tag based, okay. Third very important is electrophoresis, also very important SDS page and uh, normal. So the difficulty level is moderate SDS page uh, if for the protein electrophoresis, role of SDS and beta mercaptoethanol in the process of SDS page comparing protein bands 
uh, whether there is a reducing and non-reducing band that, that we can find from the SDS page is important. 2D gel electrophoresis there uh, where we separate protein based on PI and molecular weight. Okay, Gel mobility shift assay, GEMSA or GMSA, protein DNA interaction measurements are important. Recombinant DNA technology is also very, 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 very important and here the difficulty level is moderate to hard. They ask question, a moderate uh, ex like uh, application based question, they can also ask you experiment based question. Restriction digestion, interpreting the gel and restriction mapping. They will ask question related to the cloning whether it's a blue-white screening for lag Z mediated blue-white screening, selection vectors like plasmids, BACs, YACs, COSMIDs, other vectors of gene delivery and different libraries, cDNA libraries, genomic libraries, cloning vectors, expression vectors, the difference between them. These are also very, very important repeated units, highest priority units, highest priority topics from unit 13. Frequently asked topics of high priority, 4 out of 5 rating and here we have spectroscopy, microscopy and biostatistics. In the spectroscopy we have uh, the difficulty is easy to moderate, uh, UV visible spectroscopy where Lambert Beard law is asked, Beard Lambert law mathematics from Beard Lambert law. Then uh, a to 60, A to 80 ratio, DNA protein purity determination and CD circular dichroism spectroscopy for secondary structure of protein is important. Microscopy is important, the difficulty is moderate, they will ask matching techniques uh, to application, they will ask you uh, this, this, this and this are our application to reach, then which are the type of microscopy technique, techniques that we are going to use, whether we are going to use the light microscopy, whether we are going to use the phase contrast, whether we are going to use the differential interference microscopy, electron microscopy, scanning electron microscopy, transmission electron microscopy and so on and so forth. For the basics of light microscopy, the, 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 the refraction, refractive index, the oil immersion lens and its principle. The magnification and resolution and its principle is important. Fluorescence microscopy is also important. Uh, the FRAP principle, fluorescence recovery after photo bleaching. FRET principle, the energy transfer method is something that we needed to understand in microscopy. In biostatistics, we need to, the difficulty level is moderate where we need to uh, understand the correct test to identify the data pattern chi-square test and t-test is required. ANOVA question is sometimes asked, sometimes not, but mostly chi-square test and t-test. Basic concepts like median, mean and standard deviation, p-value are equally very important. Okay, And uh, the other important topics that are out there in unit 13 is immunological techniques, uh, where we the difficulty level is moderate, where we have ELISA, direct, indirect sandwich ELISA, steps and detection of uh, ELISA. Flow cytometry is very, very important and interpretation of uh, the FSC versus SSC plots in the flow cytometry plot data is something very important for CSINet. They also ask question related to uh, RIA, radial immunoassay, radial immunoassay and also octolony double diffusion, ODD, uh, electrophoresis assays out there. So this is something that we need to understand. Radio labeling is important although it's bad dated but still the difficulty is easy to moderate, radio labeling experiment. Uh, so S35, P32, P32 for the DNA and RNA, S35 for the proteins. Half-life, basic calculations of the half-life, they ask question from the half-life of radio labeling in unit 13, math problems in unit 13 as well as in unit 1. DNA sequencing, difficulty level moderate, they will ask question related to dideoxy, Sanger sequencing. Uh, which is also known as uh, the reading sequence from 5 prime to 3 prime end. They will ask you other questions of other sequencing methods, shotgun sequencing methods and uh, high throughput sequencing, pyro sequencing methods are also asked in the examination. Okay, So that's of medium priority questions. So these are all list of questions that, list of topics that you need to prepare for uh, unit 13 that is uh, the biological application and methods in biology. Applied biology is there in unit 12 and sometimes unit 12 questions are tagged along with unit 13 questions. So it's very difficult to separate them all the time but there are some topics uh, separated for unit 12 
there are other topics separate for unit 13. If, if you want to prepare unit 13, and if you are watching the lecture now and started to prepare for CSI and life science, then my sincere advice to you would be uh, preparing all these units along with their respective subject. So while you are preparing cell biology, prepare the cell biology. Uh, techniques along with the cell biology unit, prepare molecular biology techniques with the molecular biology unit, prepare so prepare the recombinant DNA technology with the molecular biology unit. Now, so that at the end of the preparation, 50 to 60 percent of unit 13 is already covered by your preparation. Don't keep unit 13 as a separated preparation domain because at the end, when you keep unit 13, uh, like most of the students kept unit 13 for the last. Uh, moment of the preparation and that creates a lot of tension and pressure because this this unit is huge and they ask a lot of question from this unit 20 to 25 marks of the question you can expect from this unit and if you prepare them well you can answer 20 marks of question easily and score like five uh, parts equation you can easily answer and you can score 20 out of 20 from there and that's a huge leap and advantage in your CSI net life science examination okay so these are the topic list based on the degree of priority and also the difficulty level I already mentioned. Okay, so I believe this is going to help you. And if you want to get this mind map, then you need to download Shomu's biology application. Inside the application, in the free study material window, you will find out this mind map and also many other mind maps I have uploaded over there. Okay, so all the very best. And if you wish to get this unit 13 preparation with the help of our book, you can order the book. Price is 3,900. Five books will be delivered to your address. You can get the video lectures of this recorded video lectures only priced at 7,900, 64 GB pen drive. Recorded lectures plus five books, most value for money, priced at 8,900. Both pen drive and books will be delivered to your address. How to contact us? Given number in this page. Website www.shomusbiology.com Mobile number 9804654228. Contact and get the details. If you like, then join. Otherwise, don't join. Thank you. Bye. If you want to get the, this, this particular mind map that we shared, then uh, download Shomu's Biology application. Go inside the free study material and you are going to find it. Next, if you want to get the study material package from us, the recorded lecture, which is going to help you in ICMR, Brett, CSI, NET, Get Life Science, one package helps all. Right, you can get it from Shomu's Biology. With five books, the price is 8,900. Without five books, the price is 7,900. Only five books, 3,900. That's the charge, that's what you can get from us. If you wish to get it, then contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com where you can get a study material page. Uh, from that page, you can place the order or directly contact us over WhatsApp or call and find out the details of the package. If you like it, then you can proceed with the package which is going to help you. And if you wish to join Shomu's Biology Online Coaching, the registration for the next new batch of the coaching is going on. So contact the given number for the upcoming new session of CSI Net Life Science, which is going to help you for not only CSI Net Life Science, but also get life sciences icmr brett okay as well as it's going to help you different institutional examination like uh, the isars phd entrance examination iisc tifr all these examinations all the very best for the upcoming exam and wish you the best whether you take our material join us or don't join us but we wish you always the best from our side this channel is there to help you with the free videos, more than 4,200 subjective free videos that you can get and read and prepare. And those videos are still valid because these are fundamental concepts. So stay tuned to this channel, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends, family members and colleagues so that they get to know about this.